tone. Hello? Good morning. All right, first I want you to turn your Bibles to Mark 12, verses 41 to 44. At this time, I just want to express my gratitude for giving me this opportunity to share. Thank you, bro. Oh, and also, good morning, Lawrence. Bro, good to see you, bro. All right. Um, are we there? Okay. Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts, but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins, worth only a few cents. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. I chose this because, like, it's really deep, you know. Um, it expresses, like, my conviction. And that it says, like, very small copper coins, two very small copper coins, worth only a few cents. I know it seems minuscule, it seems small, but it also says it, it, she gave everything she had. It says she gave everything she had to live on. Which means she was, more, she was more interested in the mission rather than her own life. Because she knows that what is more important is the mission. You know? I was faced with a decision recently. I was in Japan for a few, for a few months. I was faced with a decision. I was broke. I was like, either I could save the money and get food, transportation for work, all these things for the week, or I could send in my contribution. Obviously, I send in my contribution because just like the woman, just like the woman, I know that my, whatever I give will be more important to seek it and save in the loss. We will put to that use rather than something that, like, it's so prideful to think you have tomorrow. To think that you are, you're, you're given tomorrow, like tomorrow is certain. So imagine saving and you never get to use it the next day. Instead of just putting it, knowing that it's going to awesome use, you know? So this is my conviction. Um, also, I want to say, I want to share another scripture in Malachi 3, 10, 3 verse 10, which says, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. And indeed, I did see this. I did give my contribution. I had nothing left. But God gave me work. God gave me clients who picked me up. I didn't have to worry about contribution. I didn't have to worry about transportation. They provided food. I didn't have to worry about food. And I had like work all week. And now I'm back here in New York, super excited, ready to do the work. But you know, I don't know if you noticed, I didn't introduce myself. And it's, it's because it's not about me, you know? It's about the mission and the heart to really give, to believe in why you give. And that is why I share today. So thank you, and let's bow our heads to share, to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you so much for bringing all these lovely and amazing and awesome people out to serve and worship your name, God. I pray that we get the point, God, that we do not miss it, that we do not have in our hearts given like the rich, Father, given because we have it, Father, but given because we know that whatever we give has been put to use for your purpose and for your mission, Father. Help us to have that heart to give. Help us to have that heart to, to do what is right, to do what you command, Father. Help us to believe and trust in your will, to trust in your promises, Father, and trust in your word. God, you are faithful, and it's we who need to have faith in you and in your promises, Father. So in your name, Father, we pray and say thank you. Amen and amen. amen.